Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about my boxy charm from June. Actually, is it June? No, it's the May box. So the May box I have in this little container here, and then I do have two of the boxy charm. Like the, what is this one called? This is the boxy lux. Is that what it's called? So I have two of these to unbox so we can see if there's a difference between them. Any things that I have duplicates of, I will be putting aside for like a giveaway coming up. So don't worry if I do get duplicates, they're still going to go to a good home. They will go to one of you guys. So everything that's in here, we're going to talk about very quickly so I can tell you guys my thoughts, my opinions on these products and whether I felt like I got my $21 worth. So this month for here, which was the May may box this is the may box i keep getting confused yes it's the may box so this one was worth 21 dollars, or the price of it was 21 dollars. it's not worth 21 dollars because there's lots of products in here and i did have two boxes last month's loss so i have already put some of those products to the side for a future giveaway so the first thing i want to talk about is this right here this is the glam glow gentle bubble daily conditioning cleanser this is a really good face cleanser, but it's also good for my brushes and my beauty sponges. I did see somebody try it out using one of the little wash machines. I do have one of the little wash machines here that I'm going to be using probably in like a future video to test it out to see if those actually work with your beauty sponges. I haven't tried it with this in particular, but I did see somebody else try it like that and I was like, hey, I'm going to try washing my sponges with that and it works really well, but it works really well on my skin as well. It's very gentle on my skin. I like Glam Glow. I think they're are pretty good for cleansers. I don't think they're the best because I do have a lot of things in there that are just not really good for skin honestly like their ingredients list is not the best but they do work and I find that they do this one here especially was very gentle on my skin it didn't like cause me to have any breakouts or anything which is very concerning for me because you guys know my skin is pretty sensitive when it comes to breakouts so I was very happy with this. So this by itself was worth uh, $28. So if you paid for $21 for your box, you've already got your money's worth by just getting this cleanser. So again, very, very happy to have this. So this was good. The next thing that came in here is the Alamar Cosmetics. You guys had mentioned that maybe I want to try to see if there was a different color in the other box. They're both the same exact color. So this one here is medium tan. So they have three different shades in here of blush. These blushes all have a little bit of a sheen to them. There's not much, but they're definitely not a complete matte formula. So I do like them. They are a little pigmented. What I like to use is a stippling brush when I'm putting them onto my cheeks just because I feel like they're quite pigmented otherwise. So I can go on and, and end up looking like a clown very quickly. But they're very good they're very good powder, so I did not have a problem with them like lasting on my skin. They lasted for the as long as my other makeup did. My cheeks do happen to eat up makeup for some reason and these didn't disappear so these were good. These were very good and this was $22 for this palette so I don't know that I would personally pay $22 for the palette because I do like the palette and everything but the colors I feel like are quite bright. I would want more of like a nudie palette so maybe they did have nudie ones but this one here is just a little bright for me so I like it but I personally wouldn't pay $22 for it just because those colors are not my forte so the next thing is this right here this is the Becca this is the backlight I think it's the backlight nope what is this one called the first light priming filter so this is the purple one I do have this in full size as well but this one worked really well for traveling with so I did take this one in my little beauty bag for traveling and it worked really well so this one's good for giving your skin almost like a glow from within it's not like going to give your skin super super glowy it's not going to look like you have like 10 man face but it's definitely going to give your skin a little bit of luminosity and because it's purple it's going to kind of tone down the redness just a little bit it's not real deep purple though. like some people I think were a little bit skeptical thinking it was going to be almost like the purple shampoos that you get but it's not like you can tell it's just a very very light purple it's like a lavender almost so it works really well for toning down some of the redness so I did enjoy this and it's perfect like I said for traveling so I was happy to have that it's not a full size it's like a deluxe size so unfortunately they are starting to do that in some of their boxes I'm not exactly sure the reason behind why they're giving us more like deluxe size instead of all full size but I'm still happy either way so that little product there is $18 for that size so that's actually quite pricey <laughs> how many ounces is this oh it's a half an ounce so $36 it would be for a full size so I guess that's about right then we have a lip product here from Steve Laurent 
I am really loving this brand. I don't know if I would ever try this brand if it weren't for subscription boxes. So that's what makes me thankful to try different things in subscription boxes because otherwise I probably would have never tried this brand. It's very nice on the lips. It's not super long lasting, but it's not sticky whatsoever. It's got good pigmentation. It just wears very well. So it like wears off evenly. I don't have any problems with this whatsoever. And it doesn't smell bad either. So this is $22. Again, a great value for your box. So if you're getting this box at $21, you've already stacked on quite a few to this box. The next thing in here is this brush. This is the Aesthetica brush. This is the P12 brush. This was okay. Honestly, it was like misshapen when I got it and it's still misshapen. So I tried washing it and it didn't really fix it. So I don't know what in the world I need to do to fix this. If you guys like, I probably should buy one of those sleeves. They make those brush sleeves that you can buy. What was in my mouth? What in the world? I was just eating paper somehow. I think I flicked it out of the brush or something. That was lovely. But either way, if you guys know what I'm talking about like the little brush sleeves that you can put on I think that might help to kind of reshape this after I wash it again so but it's still misshapen so it's a good brush it's not like anything that I'd be like oh my gosh you gotta buy these these are like the best so this actually is quite pricey too that's the other why, other reason why I'm like $27 for this brush nah I'd rather have like an it cosmetics one I love it cosmetics brushes I think they're very very good I like the Sigma brushes so this was just it's good but it's not worth $27 for sure and then we have this right here. This is the Ciate. Nope, this is the Orizo. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I see a Ciate box in here. I must have missed one product somewhere along the lines. I don't know where it's at. So this is the Orizo. This is the Orizo Beauty Opaline Top Gloss. So basically this is a gloss that you put on top of your lipsticks that you've already have on. I'm actually wearing it today and I think it makes my lips look really nice. I like the way it looks. So for me this is something that's really nice and it doesn't dry down super like like stiff or anything it's almost a little tacky that's the only thing that I don't like about it is that it's you can, I don't know if you can tell or not but it leaves my lips feeling almost a little tacky so it's not my favorite for like formula wise but I do like the way it looks on my lips and this is $14.99 so it's not a bad price for that either so it kind of reminds me of like the the Ciate glitter flips a little bit but the glitter flips they change color so when you put them on and you like smack your lips together they change color so they're kind of cool but that is everything in my May box do I think it was worth $21 that is two boxes put together though so I can still say that I think it's worth it because basically in my first box there I got the Glam Glow the Alomar Blush Trio the Ciate London which I don't know where I put this so I'm pretty sure I've tested it but I just don't know where I put it and then we got the Oriza and then the Aesthetica brush and then in the other box, I had the Glam Glow, the Alomar, the Ciate, the Steve Laurent, which is this one right here, and the Becca Primer. So all in all, I do think you're definitely getting your money's worth for $21. But if you're someone who you have a quite a big collection already of makeup, I'm not exactly sure this is going to be something that you're going to want to invest into. If you're building your collection, this is a fantastic subscription in my opinion. So for someone who's just getting into makeup or if you just want to build a big collection, this subscription is perfect for that. So now we're going to move on to the two boxes for June. So I did go ahead and already cut them so we can just pop these open and see what's all inside of here. So inside of here we do have a card and the card says BoxyCharm Getaway. So I think this is all like summer associated products so which is cool because I don't know about you guys, but I love to travel in the summer, especially because your kids are out of school. And like my oldest son, he's at home for like college vacation. So I'm planning to do definitely a couple other things for the summer. We already did do a vacation, but I'd like to do a couple other small ones. So let's see what kind of things they've given us in here for getaways. So the first thing I see is in this black, like silky bag and it says PYT, which PYT, I can't remember what it stands for. I think it's like pretty young thing or something like that uh PYT it doesn't even say what it stands for I'll have to look it up I have no idea what it stands for so here is what it is I did go ahead and see something else get this and I was like that's kind of cool this is a mini hair dryer it's like so cute I have the purple in here I wonder if the other box has the same color because I'm pretty sure this is in every box but this is a little hair dryer so it's perfect for traveling with it does have like a spot here where you can put it at to 230 volts or 120 volts it's got your little switch right here on the handle so it seems like a good one and I think it came with some accessories yeah it came with like a little accessory here so it's got this little piece that you can put on your uh I was gonna say fan blow dryer and then it's got a mini diffuser 
I have no idea how to use a diffuser to be honest with you so I'm always like these are cool but what do you do with them so for me I don't ever know what to do with them but I will use this little blow dryer because I think it will be perfect to travel with because it's nice and tiny and I don't know about you guys but I did not take my blow dryer with me when we went on the cruise and the cruise's blow dryer was like attached to the desk so it was hard to use so I'd rather bring my own so lesson learned for me next time bring your own hair dryer and now that I have that really cute little tiny one that will be coming with me so let's see what it says about this hair dryer it says PYT mini turbo on the go dryer it says your new PYT mini turbo on the dryer is powerful portable lightweight and easy to use not while it only decrease your drying time but reduce frizz and lock in moisture whether you're revamping your hairstyle after work or at the gym or your new little travel companion will be at arm's length away this is $85 I know for a fact you can get like small hair dryers like way cheaper than this unless this is like one that's like super fantastic it might be like a really good one kind of like the Dyson's I do have the Dyson and I have to say that's a really good one but I don't know if it's going to be like anything miraculous where you want to spend $85 on it it's quite pricey in my opinion the next thing in here is with this little foamy thing the next thing is from living proof this is the full drab dry volume blast ooh you guys know that I have kind of like a love-hate relationship for living proof because some of their products smell like pepper and others don't so let's hope this does not smell like pepper I'm gonna spray a little bit in my hair okay it doesn't smell like pepper that makes me happy so is this a dry shampoo instant lasting volume and texture it's just a texturizing styling and finishing spray okay making sure I'm like because it feels kind of crunchy already it definitely gives like a crunchy feel but it goes away pretty quick so it still feels a little soft but definitely has some sort of crunch to it so let's see what it says about this make some room in your vanity for your new living proof full dry volume blast the styling spray creates instant volume and texture um, that's almost as light as air for big lasting results on dry hair uh, $29 so I do know that this brand is quite pricey but this is a decent size as well you've got 7.5 ounces so it's going to take quite a while to go through this so I'm excited about that the next thing in here is from Tristique Ooh, what is this this is Tristique this looks interesting what the heck is this Tristique good vibes mascara it says what in the world's at the top oh it's got like an eyelash curler up here so that's very interesting so let's see if we can open this okay so down in here is your mascara so let's look at the mascara wand it looks kind of like a typical mascara wand I don't think it's anything crazy um let's see what how do you get this open okay so this is your eyelash curler flip down to curl flip down I don't know if I like this or not this is very weird so there's a little built-in eyelash curler on here that's very interesting Okay, so let's see what it says about this. It says, Good Vibe Mascara. Treat your lashes to the ultimate curling, lengthening, and volumizing with your new Tristique Good Vibes Mascara. $25. So that's about average for a mascara. Honestly, it's not super overpriced. Basically, any of the more higher-end mascaras are run around $20, $25. So more than that for some of them, actually. The next thing is from Dr. Brent. This is the Clean Biotic pH Balanced Yogurt Cleanser with Chlorophyll. I've heard that chlorophyll is actually really good for your skin, but I'm not exactly sure what it does for your skin, but I just heard that it is good. So let's see what it says about this. It says Dr. Brandt, uh, Clean Biotic pH Balanced Yogurt Cleanser powered by a biotic balancing complex. This prebiotic multitasking cleanser melts away grime, makeup, and excess oil for skin that is hydrated and is never stripped. $35. So quite pricey for a face cleanser but honestly we just had the one from Glam Glow so I pers personally would have liked to seen something different than a face cleanser because it's going to take me a while to go through the Glam Glow. Now I have a Dr. Brandt one so I'm pretty well stocked on face cleansers especially if this one works and I enjoy it. If I don't enjoy it of course you know I can pass it to somebody else but I'm like we have two face cleansers back to back now so I'm excited but at the same time I'm like okay it's kind of like overkill. The next thing in here is from Skin & Co. This is the Skin & Co. Aqua Illuminate Truffle Therapy Illuminating Skin Mist. It's a Radiant Dew Mist. So let's try this out. Let's give her a little shake. I know most of these like face products you want to give them a good shake to make sure all the products like worked around. So let's see what the sprayer is like first of all. Okay it's good. It's not great. It's like pretty 
wet it's almost like using like the bottles that you use to spray your hair with like when you're trying to get your hair wet that's kind of like what the pump is like on this is not a fine mist whatsoever so I'm not sure I love the mist to this but I think it would be good for like before makeup I'm not sure I would love it after makeup because right now I feel like my makeup could be like running so let's see what it says about this truffle therapy radiant dew is a hydrating mist formulated to soothe protect and illuminate the skin um enriched with antioxidants soothing and detoxifying botanicals such as black winter truffle rosemary ginger peppermint and some sort of rose so it's supposed to rebalance your skin's ph tightens your pores and sets your makeup so it's supposed to be a makeup setting spray it's 35 dollars. i wish the sprayer was just a little bit more fine i like a more fine sprayer now that i've tried the morphe one that one i think kind of sets the bar for how a face mist should like put on your face so this is just mediocre for how it sprays so far the next thing is from pharmacy this is the pharmacy honeydew glow aha resurfacing at night serum it says with hydrating honey and gentle flower acids if i remember correctly stephanie nicole had said ahas and bhas like ahas is above the skin so this is going to resurface the top of your skin and then bhas will go below the skin so this is something that should help with the top layer of your skin so if you have some like right now i do have some acne scarring and i do have some pigmentation issues from the sun so it should help with that so i'm excited to see how that'll work for that let's see what it says about it it says <clears throat> this pharmacy honey Honeymoon Glow is 3-in-1 night serum that resurfaces, hydrates, and clarifies your dull skin while you're sleeping. $58. Holy smokes. This better be, like, really good because, like, like Drunk Elephant and stuff like that is already expensive. But, sheesh, all these skincare brands are so expensive. Skincare can get, like, really run up there. That's what the good thing about getting these subscriptions, though, is that you can get some really good skincare products in them. Like, I think my Ipsy bag had a glam... No. Who was it? It was the orange one, Sunday Riley. It had a Sunday Riley product. So there's what the bottle looks like. It looks like it's glass. So I cannot travel with this personally. I will not travel with this anyway because I don't travel with glass bottles just because I'm paired with it, I'll break it. <clears throat> so, but I am excited to try it out. See if it'll help with my skin issues. The next thing is from Dominique Cosmetics. So here's this little pink packaging. And this is a, it says peach tea. I don't know what it is though. I don't know. Let's see what it's like. What it is. Let's open it up. Okay, so we have, ooh, lemonade, it says. Lemonade gloss. I think it's a gloss. Pretty sure it's just a gloss. I wish I could smell, because right now my, my sniffer is a little broken. But there's what it looks like. It's just basically a gloss. So let's see how sticky it is. Let's see if it's sticky to the touch. It's not bad, actually. It's not bad. It's not sticky. It feels more hydrating than sticky, so I'm excited to try this out. So I'm excited to see if it's any good. Let's see what it says about it. It says, add hydrating shine and fullness to your lips with this lightweight, non-sticky balm with a lemonade lip gloss by Dominique Cosmetics. $17, and I'm pretty sure this brand can be purchased at Sephora. I think a lot of these brands actually can be purchased at Sephora that they're putting in these boxes now, which is really awesome. The next thing is from... No problem, pro, no problem, prime essence. This is Calendua flower extract. I have no idea what the heck all that is, but this is Touch and Soul. So Touch and Soul is a pretty affordable brand at Sephora. It's not super affordable, but it's definitely more affordable than like Sunday Riley and stuff like that. So this is a, I guess it's just a, what is this primer? I guess it's just a primer. So let's see what it says. It says, let your makeup stay a while with your new Touch and Soul No Problem Prime Essence. Infused with Calendula Officinals Flower, this primer tightens up your pores, keeping your skin silky and smooth. Ooh, it tightens your pores. 23 bucks, so it's not super pricey either. So let's see what it feels like on my skin. Ooh, it's definitely very serum-like. It's like running down my hand here. Um, I wish I could smell it, but right now, <laughs> that's not going to work. So... I don't really see any difference so far on my skin. It looks a little hydrated and a little bit more glowy. My skin is a little bit dry right now. So I don't know. We'll have to try it on my face. See how good it works. And then the last thing in this box is from Tarte. So this is the Tarte Pro Glow 3 uh, Cheek Palette. Woohoo. I thought it was an eyeshadow palette. It's a cheek palette. That makes me even happier. So this has got like the NARS packaging to it. It's like very rubbery like feeling, but it's cardboard. And then inside of here you get 
a mirror on both sides I'm like trying to show you and I'm closing both things at the same time and there's what the colors look like the colors are very light I don't know if there's different shades that you could have gotten with this but these look very fair in my opinion I don't think they're super pigmented like the color is not like <laughs> like the Alamar I complained that the Alamar was too bright but at least that would work for more people like look at the comparison look how bright and colorful this one is and then look at the tart the tarts definitely a lot more subtle so we'll have to give it a shot and see if it's any good though because just looking at it it just looks like it's going to be pretty but I don't think this is going to work for everybody so unfortunately I don't know if they had this in different skin tones we'll have to see um it says meet your new everyday staple this thick shade tardis pro glow cheek Pal cheek palette volume three uh this is 45 dollars. so it looks like we have a pretty expensive box here i'm gonna pause you guys i'm gonna add everything up and see what the total is in this box and then we'll take a peek in the other box and see if we have any things that are like different so hang on one second i'm gonna pause you and check out the pricing okay so i totaled everything up for this box and we're at 352 so 352 dollars is the total that i came up with but a lot of that was honestly that blow dryer the blow dryer was $85 by itself and like I said I feel like that's quite overpriced so we'll have to see what the other box has that are see if there's any similarities or if there's all different things that would be pretty cool but I seriously doubt that there's going to be everything different so let's see what's inside of this one so I thought I cut it yes I'm like I thought I cut it I did okay so we have another card in here so we have another card with all the information and then the first thing on top is the hair dryer. So we have another hair dryer. I wonder if it's the same color. Let's look. Um, yes, they're both purple. So they're both the lavender light color. So they both look like, whoops, like this. So they both look very girly and pink. I mean, pink. They look very purple. Not really girly. It's just a pretty color. All right. So the next thing in here is the living proof. This is the full dry full dry volume blast so another hair product in here the same exact thing then we have the skin and co the aqua illumination another one of those we have the dr brandt clean biotic another cleanser oh my gosh <laughs> i think it's all the exact same there's nothing different i don't think then we have the no problem prime essence so we have another one of these and then we have the tristique mascara we have that again we have the honeymoon glow by pharmacy so that's really cool that this is in there twice because that's really expensive and if it's a good skincare product i may end up keeping both of those <laughs> then we have this right here this is the dominique cosmetics this is the peach tea so same exact shade as the other one so we have two alike and then the last thing is the tardis pro glow three palette so and i think like i said there's no difference in color so i don't think that there's going to be any difference glow level extreme did the other one say that what did i do with the box I think it's in here so um let's see make sure the boxes are the same yeah so these are the exact same box so i think we have the exact same product so a lot of these that are in my second box will be going into a future giveaway because i'm planning some cool giveaways for you guys so that is everything in my boxy charm for may like my thoughts my opinions on these products and then also my boxy luxe for two boxes honestly and I have got the exact same thing so if you do subscribe to BoxyCharm I'm not sure that you need two boxy luxes maybe just get two boxy charms maybe that's what I should have done but either way we do have lots of items now for giveaway so I'm excited about that so let me know do you get BoxyCharm did you get the same things I did or did you get a variation of things I would love to know thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I'll catch you guys later